Hello and welcome to Food Tech 101. Now today we're going to make a really simple, tasty, plant-based dish. Now I use the term plant-based because whenever I say the word vegan, people ultimately go, ugh, vegan. But a lot of foods you eat are vegan. But this is a really tasty plant-based dish that includes not one, not two, but at least three of your five a day. What we're we making? We're going to have a goat making ratatouille. Before we get started, just do me a quick favor. Click that subscribe button and hit that little bell icon. So you'll be the first to know whenever I upload a new video. Okay, let's get to it. Okay, let's start to put our ratatouille together. Now, sometimes when we hear the name of a dish, a famous dish like ratatouille, in our brains it just sounds complicated, but it really doesn't have to be. For this dish you'll need one onion, chopped, diced quite finely, one courgette, chopped or diced fairly chunkily, one sweet pepper, for this one I've used the red pepper, chopped again quite chunkily, one can of tomato, one spoonful of tomato puree and some mixed herbs. To begin with, what I'm going to do is roast off, not roast off, is saute my onions. And we're going to saute them for two, three minutes until they soften or a little brown and a little bit translucent. Okay, my onions have softened a little bit, they've gone a little bit translucent. Keep your eye on them and keep your eye on the heat. We don't want them to go to dark brown and start to, to burn. We want them to brown up a little bit, soften and go a little translucent, which these have. It takes about two or three minutes on a medium heat. So far, so simple, right? Next, I'm going to put in my canned tomatoes. Ooh. I'm going to cook this again for just two or three minutes. So far, all we've got in here, tomato and onions. When you cook tomatoes, what's interesting is as the heat starts to increase, the taste profile of tomatoes change. They can be quite tart and uh, to begin with, but as they, as the heat cooks through them and as they reduce down, the flavour completely changes. So the cooking process not just heats up the tomato, but it changes the flavour as well. Okay, so there we go. So far, all we've got is tomato and onions. So far, so easy. The next part is where we put in our prepared chopped vegetables. Now for this one we're using courgette and a sweet pepper. Uh, you can probably throw in a few alternative ingredients as well if you wish. Now. If you're doing this and you've got a little bit limited amount of time, you can just put your vegetables in straight, raw, and they'll cook through in a frying pan in about four or five minutes. I've got, if you've got a little bit more time, uh, as I've done today, I've roasted off my vegetables in the oven, which increases the flavor. That's the reason for doing it in the oven. The roasting process caramelizes some of the sugars inside the vegetables and it changes the taste altogether. So if you've got time, roast your vegetables first, and now I'm gonna add in my roasted vegetables. Oh, that smells amazing. Now, so many people, so many children in particular, say, oh, I don't eat vegetables, or I don't like vegetables. But oftentimes, it could be down to their experience with vegetables. If your vegetables have only ever been mushed up and boiled to death, then maybe you're thinking, I don't like vegetables. But if you treat them right, treat them with care, you can really bring out some tremendous flavors. So because my courgettes and peppers were already cooked, as in they're roasted in the oven, I'm not gonna cook this through for too much longer. All I'm gonna do is add a little bit of seasoning. I'm not gonna go over the top with seasoning, so I want the taste of the vegetables themselves to come through. I'm gonna put a little bit of pepper, and I'm gonna put a pinch of salt. And then finally, I'm gonna use some dried herbs. I'm gonna put a little bit of oregano. And that's it. Really quick, really easy, really tasty, really healthy dish. Although the dish is done and you could just have it as it is, just put it in a bowl and eat it, it's perfect, nice and tasty, part of a meal, I decided to change it visually. 
as if you're going to have it in a restaurant or as if you were presenting it at a fancy meal. To do that, what I've done is I've sliced up some of the courgettes. I've also roasted them off in the oven, primarily to give the flavour, but also to soften them off so I can use them to line inside this metal ring, into which I'm going to place our ratatouille. Right, moment of truth. So I, if I pull the ring off, <laughs> will it keep its shape? Let's see. Oh, look at that. So here we go, here's our ratatouille dish. Now it could be made and stuck in a bowl, but with a little bit of care, a little bit of thought, you can end up with something that's, that can be on a really posh dinner party or even a food exam. All I've done is taken the same ingredients, but I've just made them look a little bit pretty. Just like that. So here we have it, a really pretty dish, a really simple dish. Now we've made it look a little bit fancy, but you saw how easy it was to make, right? Let's have a taste. Mmm. Oh. That is so good. What's surprising is that we've not done an awful lot to these vegetables. We've not added a lot of seasonings, we've not added a lot of any vegetable cubes or anything. We really let the, the vegetable, the flavour of the vegetables be the star. <clears throat> we've added a little bit of mixed herbs, that's fine, a little bit of salt and pepper, but that's, that's it. But because of the way they've been cooked, the flavours really come out beautifully. This is my partner in crime, Jane. Oh, superb, Do you want absolutely. To help superb. me out all, all year yes. in, my, in my food class. I, I, my, my, my teammate, couldn't have done it without her. So what do you reckon to the ratatouille? Absolutely superb, sir, first class. Thank you very Brilliant. much. You are welcome. <laughs> I'm going to eat this now. <laughs> Thank you very much. So there we have it, ratatouille. Who knew it could be that simple and that tasty? If you treat the vegetables with respect, they will reward you. Well, that's it for now. Uh, thanks for watching. As always, my name is Mr. Lyburn, but you can call me Sir.